It's our big story at six. Lawrence University has found its next president. Mark Burstein is stepping down as Princeton University's executive vice president to become Lawrence's 16th president. Appleton business and city leaders anxiously await his impact on the Fox Valley. NBC 26's Jonathan Gregg is live on the Lawrence campus tonight with more. Good evening. Mark Burstein is succeeding Jill Beck as Lawrence's 16th president. Beck is retiring after this academic year. Today on campus, the university touting Bernstein's Ivy League connection in New Jersey's Princeton University, as well as his investment banking experience. On the steps of Brokaw Hall, Mark Bernstein is thinking about the possibility. A healthy Lawrence brings a lot to Appleton. A healthy Appleton brings a lot to Lawrence. Collaborating with Fox Valley leadership is of special interest to Bernstein, drawing from his past work at Princeton and Columbia University in New York. And I think that there's a lot of opportunity here in Appleton uh, for Lawrence and also for Appleton. Much of it already happening, but ways of uh, enhancing that as well. Not only Appleton, but certainly around the Fox Valley, the Fox Cities, uh, the connection between Lawrence and Appleton will continue. At City Hall, Mayor Timothy Hanna anticipating the official arrival of the Lawrence hire with the Ivy League rep, having met several times with Lawrence Brass in recent months. So there are a lot of small little projects that have started to percolate from those meetings in terms of shared use of facilities, uh, we're looking at some uh, uh, information technology. At the Fox City's Chamber of Commerce. We're in the midst of a very large economic development initiative right now. And at the top of that list is education. With his new job, Burstein thinking about his impact beyond the campus. Trying to think about those localities and making sure that it works for both the institution and their host. Uh, Again, Mark Burstein won't officially clock in as the next president until July 1st, though he will have an official introduction to the campus Thursday, January 3rd. Reporting live in Appleton, Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26. Thanks, Jonathan.